everybody, John Locke here. And today I wanna to kinda of cover a topic where two of my hobbies have kind of uh, collided and uh, and yeah, I just wanted to share a little bit about that with you. So the topic is 3D printed uh, parts for lock picking or lock sport in general. Um, and it's amazing out there, there's so much uh, that's been made open source where you can uh, download and print uh, and modify parts. Uh, and yeah, it's just really uh, fantastic. So yeah, let's talk about the the things that I've printed. I'll put links to all of this stuff uh, in, uh, in my video description. Um, straight off the bat, I wanna say um, that when I left the US, I left my 3D printer behind. Um, so uh, I don't have currently a 3D printer at home. All of these parts I was able to order, uh, you know, design them, modify them myself, and then order online very affordably. So if you don't have a 3D printer, you're, you know, you're just getting into to that or, or you're interested in it, I really advise um, that you get started with building some models and and uh, try getting some parts printed. It's a uh, it's a way to start without getting you know investing a lot of money in a 3D printer, uh, and you can get some neat things. Uh, and even if you just want a part or two, um, yeah, no need to invest in a in a printer uh, for that. So yeah, let's talk about some things I've made. First thing I want to cover. Uh, and I said made, but really printed. I haven't designed uh, any of these from scratch myself, just made some modifications on some of them um, and uh, had them printed. So this first thing I have is a, um, a uh, I think it's called the top loader. Um, helps you load things in the Bible. So you slide this in and you kind of rotate it uh, and then it will cover, you know, it will cover uh, all the pin stacks uh, and you can rotate it and get it opened one at a time, rotate it to cover it. So if I wanted to start in the back, put my tweezers in there with my pin, rotate it, get that covered, expose the next one, so on and so forth. So uh, this is one design. This is the exact same, uh, or, you know, the same concept, just a different design. Um, and also has these wheels for turning it on the outside. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> if uh, <clears throat> it also has this groove, um, if you have maybe a pinning shoe that you want to put in place, you can rotate it around and get the pin shoe there, uh, and then remove the remove the plug. So I definitely like this one better than this one, um, but both are are cool designs. <clears throat> these pinning tweezers, I was really surprised with how good these came out, um, how effective they are. I didn't really expect them. You know, I have a pair of the Sparrows pinning tweezers. Um, these ones I ordered uh, or I downloaded a, a much bigger uh, size just to get a difference. But yeah, if you compare them, you know, the, the way they hold the pin, this one actually has a, a tighter grip uh, on the pin. I find it very comfortable uh, to use, a nice design. Uh, its springiness is perfect, very well designed uh, for 3D printing. Feels pretty sturdy. Um, really like this, this part a lot. This is pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> this one, uh, download, printed. You have to add a couple batteries and uh, LED to it but it is a light up plug follower. So when you're pinning, um, if you've ever done this, you have your follower in the Bible, it's dark in there and uh, it's hard to see what you're doing, especially when you're working on those back pins. This lights up the whole thing. Super nice, great design. Also comes, uh, when you look at it on Thingiverse, two different models. One has a V groove at the end there um, I probably would print with the V-groove uh, as well to get the, the helps kind of have the pin just fall right uh, into the, the hole in the Bible that you're working on. Uh, this is the flat one. Either one is available uh, in the link that's in the video description. 
pinning tray. I, this thing is so useful. I have a bunch of these printed different colors um, because sometimes I start these pinning projects and uh, something goes wrong. I have to leave it out for a few days. It's nice to have a couple different ones. Um, this one, uh, there's several, several different styles available on uh, Thingiverse. I like this one. Um, you know, it's got uh, it's got six pins um, stacks here. Um, here you can put uh, your core. This little cutout means you can keep the key in there, a core with the key uh, in it, or the plug with the key in it. A little tray for random stuff. A little cutout here at the top. Um, I find it very convenient. I added in the letters, uh, lettering myself. Uh, if you have any, if you're just starting uh, with this, I really recommend uh, a website called Tinkercad. Uh, it lets you make modifications to to 3D parts very easily, um, not too complicated um, to use. Lots of tutorials. It's really meant for students, beginners. It's free. Um, when I'm designing stuff, I usually use SketchUp. Also, can be downloaded with a free license uh, for personal use, hobby use. Um, and if you get into more designing parts, uh, I really like SketchUp. Uh, a lot of people use a lot of different things, but very nice. <clears throat> this gutting station. <clears throat> also, um, slightly modified by me, put my, my name on it, but this is designed to hold uh, the both of the Sparrows Mini uh, uh, pinning mats. There fits in nicely, has a good uh, uh, lip, keeps them in place. Plenty of room for tools, followers, pliers, uh, tweezers. Uh, also like on the back here, it's got a little groove here and it fits the, the Sparrows uh, cutting uh, to a C-clip removal tool. Uh, perfectly um, right there. A really nice uh, design. <clears throat> I actually have two of these on my desks uh, and these work for holding some pens too. So anything you really want to put in there uh, works. And then the last thing um, is this pick holder. A lot of different designs of pick holders out there. Um, I've got several of these. I like them because um, you know, I put a few picks in. You can really load these up, but then it's kind of hard to figure out what you what you want. I put a couple different um, together with different sets. Put my picks up here, tension tensioners down here. I don't know. You put a little whatever down down there as well. Um, I think these are great. Um, very cool. So all different things that you can print. Um, uh, it's not very expensive to get parts printed. Uh, if you don't own a 3D printer, I'll put a, a link to the website I use. It's called uh, uh, Treat Stock, and you can just simply upload your files there. Uh, it pairs you with a bunch of different people um, who have 3D printers that are looking to make some a little extra money. Uh, it gives you what it would cost from different different people. Lets you select materials and colors and all different stuff. So. Um, yeah, I just started using them. Uh, I'm located in Germany. I have plenty of people around me. I find term turnaround time to be pretty quick, maybe a week, week and a half between uh, when I submit and when I get it uh, in the mail. So yeah, a week, week and a half uh, from start to finish. Not too bad. Um, not too bad at all, in my opinion. Guys, that's everything I have for you today. Uh, hope you found this interesting. And uh, even more than I hope you found it interesting is I hope you have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week, and hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.